No, I'm... I'm not ignoring you. Because I don't want to. Why do I have to give you more of a reason? It's... It's my land. You can't stay here. Because it's not safe. Uh, Oh, no, 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 no. It's not safe for you. I can handle myself. (sighs) Pop, please, just... Just trust me for once. I know you've been trusting me physically, but will you please just fucking listen to what I have to say? When I tell you it's not safe for you to be here, it's not safe for you to be here. No. No, I don't want you to go, but what I want and what you need are two very, very different things, Pop. No, I I don't... It doesn't matter what I want. It... I want you safe. I do. I... I want you safe. I just... I just want you to be safe and happy and not have to live life trapped in these woods out of fear. I... I don't want you to end up like me. Come on. It's getting late. We can we can talk about this more in the cabin where it's warm. What <clears throat> what what did I mean by what? The don't be like me. Ah. Well, I She meant not to be a cowardly little whelp. Oh, shit. Hey there, Briar. It's been a while. Only been about two weeks, Benny boy. Or did you forget scratching up my face? Hey, wander under the bridge. Ah, allow me to introduce myself. I am Benjamin Hawthorne. But you, darling, you can just call me Ben. What do you want, Ben? Nothing. Seriously. Nothing. Just came to check up on the new blood. So, kid, how was your first moon? It's a rush, kid. You don't have to answer him. Look, Ben, just get out of my way- Uh, uh, Uh-uh-uh. You are technically on our land, Briar. You got no right to order me around here. Mm. We're just passing through to my... It still counts. And I would suggest... (sighs) You back down. Still not standing up for yourself. Guess I was right. You never were alpha material. Shut it, Ben. Oh, dear. Did I say something I wasn't supposed to? Did she not tell you all about her harrowing past? I said that's enough. If you want me to shut up, then I suggest you be a wolf and make me. Otherwise, just stand there and be quiet while the real wolves talk. So, she didn't tell you. Typical. Well, allow me to tell this harrowing story of a fall from grace. You see, our resident hermit here used to be the alpha of the pack. Oh, yes, indeed. Big, strong alpha wolf, leading all the wolves of this forest. Shush, pet. Let me continue. So, what Grumpy here failed to realize 
She was never cut out to be an alpha. She was weak, pathetic. Let other packs and stray mutts take advantage of us. I was trying to keep peace. You. You were letting other wolves treat us like the dirt in their paws. I was- Shut up. For once, shut that mouth of yours and let me finish. <sighs> Thank you. Where was I? Oh, yes. Lucky for the pack, I was able to challenge a little Miss Peacemaker for the role of Alpha. Now, I won, obviously. And now we're finally where we belong. At the top of this forest. And you, Hermit, get to live the life you wanted. By yourself in a little cabin. With no one else around to bug you. Isn't that right? <sighs> Answer me. Yes. Hmm. Well. Anyways. Down to the real reason I'm here. You, darling. You're here now, and you're turned. You should join the pack you belong in. Ah. The last full moon. My apologies, pet. One of our newer pups got a little... wild. Took it out on you. Now, don't worry. He's been properly handled. He may be the leaders out here. But I don't take kindly to members of my pack breaking the rules. <laughs> I like you, pet. Such a smart mouth. Listen. I know it's a lot to consider. A pack with a family versus, um, a hermit. But do think about it, will you? That kind of defiance, it'll get you in trouble. Pet, listen. It's just after the full moon, and I'm sure you're still in the afterglow of the hunt. I know I am. I'll be back in three days. Give you time to make your arrangements. Hmm. Such strong words. Well, I can see I've overstayed my welcome. I will see you in three days. But I hope you make the right choice. For your sake. Let's go. Shush. I mean it. We're not talking about this here. I mean it, pup. Can we just... <clears throat> Let's just get back to the cabin. Please. So. You, um... I'm guessing you have questions. Yeah, I was. Emphasis on was. I know. I don't exactly come off as a failed alpha. Ah. Uh, my father. He was the original alpha of the Woodland Pack. I took over for him after, um... <clears throat> After he died in a hunting accident. Don't apologize, please. Look, Ben... He made it sound worse than it actually was. He's right. I was weak, but not in the way that he says. I was trying to keep the peace with the other packs in the state. I was running off to meetings and ceremonies and bullshit and I completely lost sight of my own pack. Without me there, 
Ben basically took over. I trusted him to hold the pack together, not, not rip it out from under me. What happened? Ah. <clears throat> I was out in the north, trying to make peace with a pack near the Canadian border. Grow our ranks, expand our territory. Things went well. We had an agreement. I was to return with three of my best men, and we would make the pact official. I came back to the pack, and I couldn't find anyone. Fearing the worst, I ran to Ben's house. Everyone was there. It's... It's tradition that when one member of the pack believes that they can lead the pack better, that they challenge the Alpha to a fight. A fight to the death. He did. He challenged me, and we fought right in my backyard. He tore me to pieces. Kind of like how you looked the night I found you. I, um... I begged for my life. I begged him to let me live. We came to an agreement. He would let me live only if I stayed up here, isolated, alone, unable to ever garner enough support to reclaim my pack. Not that I'd want to, anyway. <laughs> they all turned their backs on me. Don't. Don't make that face at me. Don't pity me. I don't deserve your pity. I, sh I should have been stronger. It is my fault. I should have fought back for my pack, for myself. I, I should... I, sh I should have... I should have been better for them. Everything. Everything good, gone, just like that. I should have fought for it. And see, that's why you have to go too, okay? You have to go before I become too attached and they take you from me too, all right? You have to, you have to get out of here, go back to your own life, find someone to love you and treat you better than I, treat you the way that you deserve. Don't say that. Don't. Don't tell me you want to stay. Because every part of me wants to believe you. Every single part of me wants to reach out and hold you and protect you and do everything in my power to make sure that you're never hurt again. But I know I can't. I'm not strong enough. Stronger together, Papa. <laughs> you can't be... You are serious. That's your serious face. Pop, please don't get my hopes up. <laughs> You're too stubborn. You know that? You're too stubborn for your own good. <laughs> I... I love you too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can stay. You can stay, but... But only if that's what you really want. <laughs> You're insane. You're insane, pup. Absolutely crazy. C crazy for- Oh, come on, now that's just cheesy. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do like it. I'll do whatever it takes to keep you safe. I mean that, pup. Whatever it takes. I promise. <laughs> 